Hello everyone. Welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at websites inside the Visual Studio 2019. We will look at creating a new website and opening an existing website as well. We will primarily explore local IS websites. So before I get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So, a local internet information services IS website is an IS web application on your computer. So Visual Web Developer communicates with the website by using the HTTP protocol. So the local IS website is very useful for these scenarios, especially if you want to test your website using IS, which is which closely emulates how the website will run on a production server. This can have advantages over working with file system websites that run using the ASP.NET development server because paths are resolved as they will be on a production server. Or if you already have a set of website, website files in, in the folder and you want to test the website with IIS. In this case, you can create a virtual directory in your local version of IIS. <coughs> or if you want to use your local computer as your running web server. So you can put your website at that, as, on that as well. So as you can see, I've got a Visual Studio 2019 opened. So rather than just talking too much, let's get to it. So once you, you open a Visual Studio, this, may, this is basically what you get. So in this case, we, we're not going to click on the create a new project. We will actually click on the run without code. So as you can see, I've got the Visual Studio opened. So this is the next stage. What we do is we click on the file and then open. So as you can see here, we've got a website here. So we click on the website and then we'll be taken into this open the website for uh, I mean dialogue here. So here you can, you can directly load your FT, FTP website onto Visual Studio and work with it. Or you can, you can get your website from your local file system. I mean, I mean your, your, your local file system or your C drive or OneDrive, whatever folder you've got on your web or on your computer, you can grab the website and open it on Visual Studio. Or you can use the local IS, which is the informa inter local internet information server. So here, as you can see, it's what, what I've got here is you must install IS and run Visual Studio in the context of an administrator account to view local IS websites. So that, that's, that's, that's really nothing. So here, as you can see, I've got a website one, which has already been created by default. So we can click on it, yeah, and then click open to open it, or we can put we can put on the IS Express website and then click on this bit here. So this will actually create a new local IS web website. So in this case, what we do first is to open the existing created or the created website. So we, cl we click on the open. So once it's opened, this is what you get. So as you can see, it's, it's, it's very basic. It's got a bunch of images. And then um, one simple HTM, not HTML. So it just, uh, it's not, it's not a problem. It's still the HTML t test. So here, if, if if you look at it here, we've got a very simple website created on our local IS. So this is how we actually run it for the first time. We click on this bit here or F5. So here. On your first run, you'll be actually prompted to, to, to create 
to add a new web that config file with debug i mean with debugging enabled so obviously if you want to debug it or you can run it without a debug so this is like equivalent to control plus f5 right so this, this for this time we're not going to run it by where we're not going to debug it so we're just going to run it without debugging so we click ok so as you can see this is what we get um, yeah so we get, we get that very simple so just one second because I clicked on something so we're just gonna go back so we just get a very simple local host port 8080 and so from here you can actually start to make changes to the website so as you can see it's referencing this link so it's just a container so what you what you oh, so this is the container that is actually referenced in the in the CSS so <laughs> in Visual Studio I'm just going to show you quickly how you can add HTML JavaScript and stuff like that so first of all if you want to add a folder you can right click on the website and then you go to add so here you can add a new folder and you can call it CSS yeah so here if you want to add a new style you, you can come to the same ad so in this case as you can see if you go down here we have a style sheet so you can add it directly from this from this bit here so we can say side.css so here as you can see we've got this the style correctly added <coughs> then we can add another folder uh, which you can just call it JS this is for JavaScript so here to add a JavaScript so as you can see we've got the JavaScript showing so we can just say main dot JS so as you can see here we've got the JavaScript nicely created and and one thing is you're using you get the benefits of um, the all the visual intelligence of um, Visual Studio so that bear that one in mind and the last bit is of course if you want to add HTML you come to the same bit uh, add so here we can come to add new item so here you can just put it on a um, C sharp or visual basic it doesn't really matter so here you can add a HTML or JavaScript style sheet and a lot more so you can ex explore it further yourself right so this is how you actually get started in terms of creating a just a local IS website and this is how you go about adding HTML, CSS and JavaScript on the Visual Studio 2019 so I'll leave this video here I hope actually this helped you so I, from today I'm just gonna keep on making more videos so basically if you haven't subscribed please make sure you do and have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are stay blessed and peace bye bye